You know the Cray twins. He was just like them. So, uh, what's the school, Richie? This lot are part of a firm, and there could be loads of them. My boys, they're like my hungry pack of wolves. They're nasty little piglets. No! And I would really like to hear them squealing before the end. <laughs> the plot of the film has, uh, um, I'm a retired uh, London gangster living in the south of Spain, happily for the last 25 years, not doing anything bad, just enjoying his life. And uh, his brother, played by Stephen Burkhoff, still lives in England, and he gets himself killed by a group of feral youths, a really nasty young gang of people who go around raping and doing everything awful, and they're really unpleasant and nasty. So my character, whose name is Richie, gets a bit peeved by this, and he comes home, and he forms up his old gang. There are four of us, all of us really old, and we go after the young. In my youth, I always played the guy who went after these people and put them in prison. You know, I was the hero, I was the good guy. These guys are bad guys, but they have a certain old school charm to them. Even when they're drilling holes in people's kneecaps, there is a sort of ch charm to it, apparently. Anyway, uh, and I thought what a funny it would be to, to play that. I had never played a hard man. Uh, for instance, somebody pointed out to me the other day that they had never heard me use a four-letter word in a film. And this was every other word. So that was fun for me. Um, and it was very freeing in a way, you know, to play an old guy who uh, was bent on revenge but had a sense of humor about it. It was, it was one of the best roles I've had recently. You can either make this easy or we can make it hard. What's it going to be? I don't want no one else going missing. I go find my place. This is going to end up bloody. Sounds like I've got work through my team, <laughs> There goes our no claims bonus. <laughs> I think it's exciting. I think it moves. I think the story is is a very good one. It's a fun story. The idea of of of, of an elderly gang, retired most of them, who come out of retirement to take revenge on a group of nasty young is a, is an attractive one. The old vigilante story has always been a popular one. This has got a twist on it just by the age of the vigilantes compared with the age of the people they're vigilanteing. So that I think is fun. And I also think there's a lot of humor in it. You know, it is violent, very, very violent indeed, but it's also got a lot of laughter in it too. And I think that's what I would hope people would take away from it.